Hello and welcome back to my let's play on Total War Free Kingdoms with Sima Young on Legendary Difficulty. Where last time we left off, we were doing quite well still. We've had a pretty easy good run so far to be honest. We're about to take the final town from Sima G. And then we're going to focus on the first of our family members. Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure this guy might be some distant family as well. There's a lot of family around here, but uh, the first of our, like, you know, one of the major princes, uh, Sima Lun, which, by the way, could be mispronouncing that altogether. I have no clue. I, I, I figured out all the, basically all the names in, in regular Free Kingdoms, and I've got all these new names, like Lun. Like, is that Lun or Lun or, L like, maybe it's like Un or, I don't know. I, 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 you know, I'm sticking to Loon for now, or Loon, but um, yeah, if you comment, once again, remember that I'm way ahead right now, so you will hear me mispronouncing it for a very long time. Get used to it. So, uh, we were going to build the military infrastructure here. Make sure we keep that military security, which, again, I don't actually know. I think it just gives us this to... I don't know, it's, it's just kind of weird. I don't know exactly if we can actually even reduce this. Plus one might alignment for each garrisoned army. Wait. Oh shit, that's different than I thought it was. For each garrisoned army. What does that mean exactly? Is this, like, does this even... Or does it have to be an actual army? So every time we have an army in a town, that means we should, like, split these guys up. Uh, does it tell me how much... Oh, no, it doesn't tell me how much I'm getting per turn or something. Yeah, I wonder if I should split these guys up, put one in there and one in here. Because, I mean, they're free. I may as well just recruit random generals all over the place and have nothing in them. I suppose it's good to test this fury. Right now, we're on 53. I'm going to have a look at that. I'm going to have a good look at that. Uh, other than that, what else we got to do? Whoa, what else we got to do? Got to do of it. We've got loads of shit to build here. Uh, so I could put one of you in there. We've probably got loads of shit to build everywhere, though, let's be honest. Definitely plenty more stuff to build here. Yeah, let's just put one of you in here. I'm gonna assume I'm gonna be building stuff here, no problem. And then we've got other places where I'm already building. Yeah, I'm definitely building a lot more here as well, upgrading that. But that's already a single turn building, so I'm not too worried about that. I can even get this up to level 4. We got any bonuses level 5? Nope, nothing specific. Uh, Bohai, definitely still building stuff there. And Dai, definitely going to be building a lot as well once this gets up there. Going to get uh, rid of that. And Anping... No, this is basically out of stuff to build for the moment. So... Where do we have the guy who already, is already doing that? Oh, that's for 15 turns too, that's so good in Yanmen. Okay, so we don't want to go to Yanmen, which is this one right here. Really? I got that guy in Yanmen, and the one building I decided to build was the fucking patrols building. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why didn't I build this? I don't know. Oh, I must have not had the money or something. I don't know. This was like, I did. I, I just, I'm recording this right after the last episode, basically. A couple, uh, couple minutes between, but other than that, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I don't want to upgrade that, so I actually have nothing to build there. So in Bohai, I guess it'll be... Let's put you in here. And then... Uh, I'm gonna build something that takes a single turn, which I guess would be that, which isn't the worst idea. Um, we're not putting anyone in here, so I could upgrade this. That's a lot of money, though. And I'm putting someone in here, so I don't really want to build something here unless it's a single turn building, which we don't have available. So I guess I'm gonna hold off, actually, for a second. I'll build anything, essentially. That's okay. We are gonna have a look. Uh, we're gonna lose the trade with Sima Lun uh, and all of our other agreements. No, no, we're gonna do that next turn when this runs out, yeah. He already dislikes us somewhat. Probably not a good idea to make him even more mad, but I mean, we want to go to war with him, so. So 53, so we should technically get, if we're gonna keep that army there as well, which I think I am, we should get three extra mites. So we should have to, f uh, or sorry, two extra mites. We should be able to have 55. If that, wor if that works the way I thought it, I think it does. Uh, I could either take full replenishment or I could move into the forest, but I feel like that army isn't going to come towards me anyway, so what's the point? I think I'll just take a turn of full replenishment right now. Um, okay. Yeah, I guess I'll upgrade one of these things just to get the extra income. Oh, actually, that already gives me income from all sources. Oh, yeah, just... It, wow, why did I only know that? I said that last time. Oh, you get 30% at level 3, but you actually get 10% and 20% on those ones as well, so it's not like you miss out on anything. What in tarnation? I also still don't know what my unique building is, by the way. I, as far as I'm aware, it's not here. 
Um, yeah, we'll build that, and then I guess any other place where we can build that, we should, because it just increases my income straight up. Not by a lot, but it helps. Uh, here. We don't have one here, but that's because this is supposed to be gone. But I think, again, for the moment, it's okay. It's okay. Maybe I should. Nah, I've got plenty of other things to build. Still got some money left over as well. I do want to start recruiting an army, but I don't want to have these guys together. Should have a look at um, like you like Zhang Dan, so I guess I could keep Zhang Dan in here and get rid of the other guy. Thing is, he's really good. I'd like to keep him around, but there's not a single character currently strategist that he likes, so it's kind of a tough one to do. So Dong Bao Ting is probably who I'm going to recruit. Good recruiter right now. Give her a purpose as well. A purpose. She's not particularly amazing, but yeah, she was, she would have been really great if she was something other than a strategist, I remember. But I'm still going to recruit you anyway. Into this army you go. And then we'll just get you some crossbows. How close are you to getting... Oh, you already have flaming shot, that's pretty good as well. Alright, that's fine, I don't need any more right now. Um, you know what, I did say I only needed two real Garrett or two retinues, so maybe I'll just get rid of him. You know what? Let's move him out and move him into Bo. Alright, we can test this fury immediately. Oh shit, I moved the wrong one. Oops. That's okay. Oh, it doesn't matter. Fuck, I just lost the... Ugh. I assumed because I clicked on him to get out of there, it would actually get... It would, it would put me on him, basically, but it didn't. So I, lo I lost my mustering bonus, which is gonna suck quite a bit, actually. Damn, that really... That really stinks. I've lost a lot of replenishment doing that. Ugh. Well, so be it. Still got to test the fury at least. Do we get free or less might? We should get free now. Uh, anyway, do we go on the attack? I feel like one turn of replenishment is appropriate. We are a little bit wounded. Sieging him out does speed things up, obviously. Um, are they upgrading the town? Can I see that at all, actually? Because that would be. A bummer if they upgraded the town in time. But, I mean, what are the odds of that happening right now? Alright, let's keep trucking along. We were on 53, were we not? Uh, oof. I'm glad everyone says no to that, because I definitely don't want this either. That would have been very annoying if he just managed to jump into our alliance at the, the turn before I was going to break all my treaties with him. Uh, Sima Ying. No, sorry mate. I'm not interested. Ever onwards regardless. At least he, he took it well. So we should be on 60. Yeah, 56. There you go. Ambitions folly. Extra experience for Lee Han, but minus 10 satisfaction faction wide. Pretty great. Not. Cunning and a 40. I'm pretty sure I don't need that on any Actually, you need to get equipped as well. Sorry, not you. You. Um, you can have a horse. And I guess you can have the plus 4. On commanding movement speed, okay. We might want to make you the commander then. Well, you might get better bonuses. Ooh, you're minus, you're on, oh yeah, the minus 10 didn't help. Uh, reinforcement range, you get the extra movement range. Yeah, I guess for the moment you're a better commander. Let me see if I... get more replenishment in this province. No, it's the same. Still though, I'll keep you around, just uh, doing nothing essentially. Could even move him out of here and put him in a different town as well. Just get extra might per turn. Um, I mean, I probably could recruit just other characters. I mean, it cost me the initial money, but I could get rid of the units and then recruit them again later. For free. Um, but it would just be these two, basically. I wouldn't do it with him because it's too expensive. Plus, I want to keep those units because they've already got some experience. And with her as well. So it would just be two characters that I could do that with, unless I want to recruit more people into the faction, but I don't, so there goes that. Um, right, we built a whole bunch of buildings. Our income has uh, been reduced quite a bit. Let's go besiege this town. They didn't seem to have recru recruited any more units. Their loss. So yeah, I could make it a night battle and attack right away. Oh my god, did they actually... They did do it, didn't they? They upgraded it to level 4. No, they didn't. It just has uh, 6 turns already, never mind. Still gonna starve them out. I don't want to fight that. Yeah, it's the level 3, sorry. Uh, we upgraded the town here. Right, this is going to be... 
income from uh, industry, which means I'm going to go commerce as well. Let's build the inn first. Then this is more money. We have got the money for that, but we might be able to do something better than that. So we actually got to make a decision here now. Lose reserve capacity, but gain military supplies and less noble support. Which one is overall the best one? 50% income remains the same across the board. Yep. Uh, that gives a reserve capacity. Uh, also the most noble support, but plus two is not really a huge deal. Military supplies. Uh, uh, okay, so this one gives 60 and this one and 30 in adjacent commanderies. This one gives uh, 40 in adjacent commanderies, but none of itself. But it does do minus 10 military supplies to local enemy armies, which I'm not bothered by at all. Also, this one costs a lot more, that's something to keep in mind. Um, and this one gives a starting rank for cavalry units, which is pretty irrelevant. And then minus 20 military supplies for enemy yeah, armies, but I'm not really worried about that. So I think this one is the best one, although it does cost 45 per turn more. I really wish what I knew what my actual unique unit or unique, unique building was, but oh well. Uh, right, I put someone in here now, yeah, so we can do that. So unless we want to go to Yanmen, where we have big stuff as well. Mm, that's oh, fine. Let's build this one up. Yeah, it's just a little bit extra food, actually. Let's go with so many options. Let's go Yanmen. Fuck it. Yanmen. Okay. Okay. I want to get two trebuchets in there, so nothing for the moment. Uh, we besieged that this turn. I'm going to break my treaty of Sistema Lun now. I am. Actually, I just want to see how much money would you pay me for all this food? Actually, would you give me territory? Could, of course, just take his territory off him as well. Well, not that one. Nope. Alright, I have to murder him. I am so sorry. He's gonna... Oh, wow. The Jin Empire loves it. Uh, but somehow Sima Wei and Sima Zhong don't seem to like that. Sima Zhong is the guy to my south, so he would be a good next target as well. But... Okay, so that loses me a trade. He's gonna open up a trade again. Not you, as much as I want to. Not really you either. You're a good option. You're an okay option. You just make less money. So let's take Sima Jian. Do you need food? Not really. Can you give me boatloads of money for it? Where's my big jump off point? Okay, somewhere around there. That one. Five food. Eh, I can't really get much out of it to be honest, but I think it's still worth. Uh, yeah, fuck it. It's yeah. It, I mean, I don't think it's really worth it to be honest, but fuck it. Seem away. I'm not selling you any food yet. It doesn't even say we have any relations with him, even though we're in an alliance with him. There's nothing here. I guess because it's up here. Uh, do you need food? Not really. Do you have money? You probably are quite rich. Oh wow, you are really rich. Hello. How much money can I get out of you? Well, I can't give you that much. Okay, never mind. He's... It seems like he's really rich, but he's actually not. Where's my big jump? Just one and two, I guess. Yep, two. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah. I'll take 195 for two food. That's better than the last deal we had. And that included trade as well. You do have that piece of gear, which you don't value very highly. 6.1. That's uh, not enough. I, can, I can't do enough there. It costs me too much money to get there. He's actually relatively large as well. But most of his territories are just really large. Uh, who else we got? Sima Jong. Yeah, I wouldn't mind selling you some food, but you're, well, you're poor on food. Wow, you do not rate my food very highly at all. Wow, okay, never mind. That's not happening. Um, see my eye. You've got 18 food. Why you? Probably won't need any more. Oh, sorry. The, yeah, you're not going to give me much for that. Oh, you are quite rich, but... Where's your big jump? There. Can I get that? F eh. 
Yeah, 11 food for 271. Down to 10 food myself. It's not the best deal I can get, probably, but I'll take it. Improve relations further with these people as well. He also is quite large right now. Income back up to 3.5 grand. Yeah, that's good. That's that good shit. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they sally out, but they may also not sally out. You're unhappy because of that uh, event, so are you. Should be okay though in the in the long run. Are we getting any getting any close to Grand Prince? Not quite. 127 more. Also, we've met all the princes, but I already knew that. Oh. Now we can initiate diplomacy that way too. Interesting. Very interesting. I gotta say, Sima Wei may have the best looking flag. Sign peace for free grant. That's a decent offer, Sima G. But I am afraid there is no interest for me. For me? Uh, peace. Succession Ruan Shen. Looks looking cool looking dude right there. Another uh, coalition. It's a heavy coalition campaign, this it seems. Many people becoming friends very quickly. I think I made the right call becoming friends as well with some people. I mean, if you just look at. Sorry. Oh no, we have low, uh, low uh, overall happiness right now. Looking at coalitions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven different coalitions. They're defending the east, we're defending the west. Oh no, wait, we're the alliance of Graceful Crane, crane now. Of the Graceful Crane, in, the, in fact. <laughs> reconcile, reconcile China. Temperate Steel, what does that even mean? Oppose the oppressor. There's no oppressor. Actually, I guess the Jin Empire technically is the oppressor. The Yellow River? Are you guys even close to the Yellow River? The Yellow River is this one up here. You're not even near that. So I, I don't know where Sima Way is. Oh, there is an actual Sima Way. There's two Sima Ways, I mean. Uh, so, you, even though they've got the same flag. What the fuck is going on here? They actually have the same flag. But there are actually a Sima Way as well as a Sim, uh, Song Way. And then, of course, the main faction Sima Way as well. Anyway, and then there's Darkening Moon. Great. Ooh, Darkening Moon, huh? So scary. Any one of you guys I want to peace out with? Nope. I don't think so. I'm oh, sorry, not peace out. Become friends with. I got me some buildings to build, oh, I do. Uh, time to build myself an inn here. Uh, the horse, right, so this is going to be marketplace, which actually does a minus double support, so we gotta figure that out as well. But that's okay. But that's alright. Um, yeah, we have lots anyway. Just in Jar Oh, and also that cancels that one out, that's pretty good. Uh, can we build something else? We can, how about that? That's fantastic. Well done. Well done, Harry. Sorry. Um... Yeah, our satisfaction is currently low, which kind of sucks, but there's not much I can do about that. That's, that minus 10 is going to go away at some point. Although, surprisingly, it's not even up here, which kind of confuses me a little bit. Um, I could take you out of there and put you in there, but once we put them all together again, our supplies are going to be horrible, so I don't really want to do that. They're going to start taking attrition right now, so that's all good. Yeah, minus 10 from recent events, but the, the recent event is not here, which is kind of a bit weird, but... It's a bit weird. I think it was only five turns though, so now it's like four turns left also. This should be done soon. Two turns. That's gonna give us... Uh, yes, the the building that gives us um, adjacent commandery. Corruption reduction. Corruption reduction! Which is pretty good, by the by. Hey, a Sally. Figured that would be coming. Right, but this shouldn't really be a problem. More than half the army is ranged units. Two, four, counting that one. Oh, well, let's not count even. Let's not even count that one. Four, five, six out of the two, four, six, uh, eight, ten melee units, and then one cav and three generals. And the cav is also ranged. Fucking great! Now we have two trebuchets now. But they have a strategist, so they'll be able to wide formation up, loose formation up. You got, I gotta say, one thing about the Eight Princes DLC, I talked about this before, how it seems that every character has this, like, 
basically everyone has a unique piece of gear. Well, not a unique piece of gear, but like a, a bronze and in most cases even a silver piece of gear. Like even the enemies, both of these guys have a, a silver piece of gear. He's got a normal gear now. Um, I have to say that normally you... The thing is like... Uh, God, there's a saying or something, but basically if everyone has something special, then that something special is not is no longer special. This is normal, right? I don't know exactly what the saying is, but there's something along those lines. What what I'm trying to say is that it, it feels kind of meh having special gear because everyone has it, which also probably means that ancillaries feel less uh, valuable in diplomacy, even though they technically aren't. They're still really valuable. It feels less valuable because there's more of them, but the AI seems to value them just the same way. So. That's not really a problem. It's just, it, I don't know. It just doesn't feel right having so having everyone have basically got unique armor. It just doesn't feel right. But what do I know? On the other hand, it makes it feel a little bit different from regular free kingdoms, and that kind of thing is always nice as well. I, you know, I want it to be similar because free kingdoms is fantastic, but obviously it's nice to have a little bit of difference in there as well. These cataphracts, by the way, I'm sure you guys know by now as well, but they are available to the uh, factions in Free Kingdoms as well. They're not unique to Eight Princes. Alright, does this guy want to duel? Uh, oh, he's in again. No, he does not. Right, fire. Oh, shit. Oopsie. Let's put that back to normal or to explosive shot. I think that was one more volley of yep, non-explosive shot, that's unfortunate. Triple speeding didn't help me out there. Alright, let's start sending the cav around the flanks. Go over there somewhere if you wouldn't mind, sir. You guys get over there. Shots being fired. Those crossbows, or the mounted crossbows, unfortunately, do have 250 range, just like normal crossbows, which means they actually outranged me because I've put my uh, crossbows behind. Having said that, they don't really do a lot of damage because there's only 60 of them firing at any time. That's the downside of crossbows, or of, of cavalry altogether. Mounted, uh, ranged cav, I mean. Right. Should we go murder this guy, Sima G, the man himself? He's got some nice gear for me, by the way. How very. Sorry, kind of you to bring me this Jade Horseman here. I'm sure I can find a use for that. And then there's two strategists. Oh, they didn't even wait for reinforcements. They were already massively outnumbered. And then instead of waiting for the reinforcements, they're like, nah. <laughs> nah, we're good. We're gonna do this by ourselves. We have faith. Right, let's make sure we go wider than that. And you are gonna attack that one. Kung Hao indeed, that's what I always like to say. Please keep murdering this man. Uh, other than that, there's literally only range units remaining. It's just him. There's no actual infantry that reached me because they didn't have much. Oh, and we wiped that. Wait, why did you stop moving? I thought we wiped out the unit, but we didn't. Not at all. These are some painful charges, though. Also painful for me, taking shots in the back right now. Okay, let's see if they stay if I charge them. They'll, I mean, I'll assume they skirmish away, but I don't actually know. I haven't tested this before. Also, they're selling out, so I have to make sure I kill everything off. Yeah, it doesn't matter, actually. Oh my god, what is that? Stop! Stop firing. Fucking trebuchet shots at me, please. Okay, you get that, man. There's some archers coming in now, which is not great. Keep chasing. Oh. Shots fired. Oh my god. It's trebuchets. I know you're shit, but come on. What is this? Oh wow, she's getting destroyed. How are you guys doing against that guy, by the way? Yeah, he's dying soon. Oh, nice. Thank you for leaving yourself completely exposed there. You have to leave the crossbows alone, I'm afraid. Killed one general. He's gone mad because of it, unfortunately. Let's get you out of here. We just need one unit to deal with this. Don't get caught by these... G infantry captain, please. That's not what I need right now. Oh wow, he. Oh my god, he's getting destroyed. What the fuck? Berserk didn't work out too well for the guy who was not supposed to be fighting in melee. 
All right, can we get a mouse rod, please? Uh, I need to charge in there when they're not stationary anymore, which is right about now. You guys turn around again as well. Uh, did you guys kill this guy yet? Did he go mad as well from Fallen Friend? Oh, he did. Well, not from the first one, from the second one. Damn it. Get in there. Jesus. Is this guy unbreakable too? I should get all the, um, no, he's not. All different icons. Oh my god, I lost the cab unit entirely here. Well, that sucks. That unit's actually going to be dead after this fight. Ugh. That was a poor thing to have happen. Okay, we killed the other general. That was quick, actually. Oh, another Rada too. You're kidding me. That was unfortunate. I just lost a full unit. I didn't. I didn't actually realize that was happening. Oh well. It'll come back to me. Four experience in that unit too, so I don't really want to re-recruit and get it replenishing immediately. Then again, we don't. We're not going to have any battles for a while because now we're done here. Um, for a little bit, so. I think that unit's dead too. I think we killed mostly everything, so maybe the mounted crossbows, but. That unit we should be able to kill off as well. You are murdering that unit, hopefully before we reach the line. Yeah, that was a shame. I messed that up somewhat. Also, how did you just get a buff? You're nowhere near my general. What in tarnation? Did you guys reach this guy? No, they definitely got away. That's okay. That unit needs to get a few more deaths on it. And then we're good. Uh, oh, you wiped him. Well done. Uh, yeah, they're probably gone already, plus they're about to leave the field anyway. Alright, so we did lose a, a unit. That was... I don't know how it even happened. I don't quite know what I did. Did I charge it in, or did I just have it run into that direction, and they just walked into the main unit or something? I, I, I honestly don't know. I didn't see it. But it's okay. I can afford to lose a single unit here. It is unfortunately dead. I've seen AI units for seven men survive, but the cavalry units, but oh well. Uh, I will take the replenishment because that money's a bit shit. We've got a level up two, and we're going to take that next turn, no problem. And that, I believe, is also the faction leader dead. Uh, Sima Ying signed peace. There's the new leader, Sima Chin Li. Sima Jian is dead, and Jin Ting Wen has taken over. Got another random uncommon talent. I'm sure they're. As common as they come, but all right. Uh, you, lady, are actually quite good. All right, I'll hold on to you for a sec. You might even be liked by this guy here. No, you're not. But you're not disliked by him, so that's important. What kind of skills have you got, though? You've already... Okay, yeah, you're definitely keep being kept. Especially because the uh, costs are so cheap. We lost trade with Jin Ting Wen. Dang, can we get trade with someone else? Oh no, it's just, yeah, we gotta break it basically. Where is Jin? That's you guys, okay. So that's because you lost this here to Sima Yan, who I am giving stuff to, it seems. Interesting. Um, I'm actually trading with Sima Yan as well. Right. And you guys are at war with Jin Ten. Yep, okay. Right, well, they're probably going to not be able to take that back, but I'll keep the trade going for a second. They might die soon anyway, and then we'll just be able to trade with someone else regardless. Buildings, right, we'll have a look at that in a second. Um, we got some level ups first. You've leveled up. You're going to get that now. Awesome, so now we got the big old debuff. And we have. Oh, that was okay, it was just one level up, never mind. I don't have this town if you don't mind. Thank you very much. Nine men lost. Alright. Uh, and that is that. Oh my god, another person. Well, who knows, maybe this one's actually good. Faction destroyed. There we go. Nope. Because you are a commander and I don't need commanders. Although your authority appears quite high for someone at level 1. Yep. Once again, pretty decent character, honestly. Just have no need for you right now. I'm so sorry, but... We are... 118 points still, yeah, we're not, we're, we're, it's gonna take a while before we get there. Uh, people of Merit, are you any good? Uh, you're weak, which immediately makes me think you no. Know. Oh, interesting though. She is graceful, so has plus 10 melee evasion, and weak, minus 10 melee evasion, so she doesn't actually lose much there, but still pretty bad. Having to use one trade to counteract another trade is still a bad thing. 
Right, uh, so you can go away. Uh, buildings will stay. We'll have a look at that in a second. All the stuff can go away. Now, I do wonder if Why I. You? I just want to see how much those towns are worth to him. This is Jubei Ping, isn't it? Yeah. The trade port. 14.8. Like, I feel like we could very easily acquire that. Even with just a couple of. Oh my god, we have four of those. That's basically already enough. So I could very easily do that. Um, how much do you value food? Not very. So yeah, I'd have to do it in a different way. Food wouldn't really work. What about the other thing? Uh, Jin Empire. That would be Yuzhu, the iron mine. And then there's also still another town there. The Liakshu or something. Also, there's this one that's in the west. Okay, how much are all of these worth? 14.8 for the iron mine, which is this one here. Yes. And then 20 for the fishing port there. No, that's that's this one there. And 30 for the small town, which is that one, or that one there, and then this is the fishing port. And then how much for the trade port? That's another important one, actually. It's the one I should have looked at right away. That was, wait, is that that one? 14, oh, that's actually pretty good. Okay, we're gonna grab that right now. With a couple of ancillaries that I'm probably never gonna be end up using anyway. Uh, these are both for the same type of character, and I prefer these ones in general. Although they give less armor, but they give better stats. Like, nine more expertise is pretty big. So why don't I just give you... let's see... Yeah, let's do three. I got a bunch of useless things in here as well. Not entirely useless, but not really required. This one's pretty meh as well, but I don't need to give out that much right away. Let's see with that. I need to pay a little bit of money as well. I don't want to do all ancillaries because then I run out of ancillaries at some point. Um, then I'll pay you. Let's see how much that would have to be. Oof, that's quite a bit of money. Holy shit. Yep, no, that's not happening. I could do some food. I guess just like one or two food is already like a big jump up. Okay, unfortunately it's just one food, but still that's 1.1. Getting us closer. Um... And then, how much is the make payment of a thousand bucks or five hundred bucks? Zero point two. My God. Yeah, money's not going to do it here. It may have to be in cities all the way. I'd have preferred it if I could have done this with food, but I clearly can't. Um. Well, in that case, let's. I also may need to keep our trade going, because if I break it... Because we're not getting our trade, of course, with them. It's it's interrupted. And it's going to be even further interrupted when I take this trade port, I think. But even so... Um, no, because we were trading through their fishing port here and then to their trade. Um, but either way, I should, keep, I should keep it going, because if I break it, they're just going to hate me more. And it's going to be more difficult to acquire things. Alright, I may have to do um, another ancillary and then some money. I don't want to give away that silver sword. That's too valuable for me. I'll do this. You're probably quite rich yourself. Not rich enough to give me a little bit of money, wow. Uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Alright. It's not bad, yeah. Cheeky little bit of money for that. See, so yeah, four ancillaries kind of sucks, but... It's not too bad. Actually, how much money would you be willing to give me? Like every point one, I can give him extra food, but it's not really a huge amount. I'm like, for, oh, sure. This doesn't even add up, but I'll take it. Um, yeah, give me that little town. Then there's three more towns I need to buy over here. Let me see how much he values that one. Probably quite highly, I'm going to imagine. But it's worth having a look. So that one. There's two more here to take. What the fuck? No way, that isn't that one. Never mind. It's this one. Yes, this city. Level 5 already as well. Yeah, that's going to be impossible to get. But at least I got the trade port around here, which is pretty good. And now, if I can get the iron mine as well, maybe the toolmaker, I can just leave that one till later on. I'd be okay with that. Right. Uh, this is unfortunately on level 1, but possibly because it's level 1, he was able to trade it um, with me for such a cheap amount, so that's not too bad. Town itself, that will repair itself. Mill post is definitely going to be kept. So I'll repair that one. And then the farms is going to go away. And that's going to get upgraded right away. Okay. 
you're gonna have to replenish, and then we're gonna go south and attack uh, Sima Loon soon. We also need to get our food back because there's a lot of stuff to take. Well, there's some food as well, but this is level five town. It's level five town, but more food to have be had as well. So I think we'll be okay. Okay. Do we have anyone in here? We do not. So let's focus the ones where we do have someone in there. Definitely in Yanmen. That's this one. Uh, that's an extra one food and a tiny bit of money. It's not really that great for free ground right now. I'm not too worried about that. Here we have... Right, no one. I already chucked that one. And Tai one. That's the other one. But no one here either. But that's a single turn upgrade. That's three turns. I do need this one to counteract the happiness here as well, though. Uh, we're going to go for the corruption reduction. That sounds like a good idea to, to me as well. Right. Can I build anything else? Do I have money enough for that? I do appear to actually have enough money. So I think I will. Let's get the first level on this one. Or the second level, that one, I suppose. Right. So damage building will repair itself. And then I got to, after this is finished, we got to upgrade this to level four. But I'm not worried about getting attacked here, really. So that's all Voino 2. You're still unhappy. The other person's actually no longer unhappy. Is not her? No, it's not her. Is it her? Someone around here. I have no idea. Also, I have four strategists available now. Seems like a lot. Anyway, um, let's keep trucking along, I suppose. Sima Liang. That's the main dude, right? Um, that's. This guy right here, yeah, that's like the old the old guy. Uh, yeah, him, obviously. Could just look like this, to be honest. I wonder how strong I am now, comparatively to other people. I should have a look at that in a minute, like a proper look. He's two, and then obviously Jin Empire is one. So I've seen one through four. You're five. I, feel like, I think I've seen six as well. You're seven. You're six, so you're seven. So that means I'm... I'm possibly number 8, which means I'm... Oh, not necessarily, actually. I'm not the weakest prince, then. Because you're 9, so I'm probably 8. So I'm actually... Wow, I'm stronger than this guy. With his two fucking towns. How the fuck am I only just... What? I mean, it's based on armies, not necessarily land mass. Um, and I only have one army and then a few units, basically. So I suppose if it's focused on that, yeah, I, I'm, I'm fairly weak. But Anyway, no, I'm not during your war, sorry. If I were to join your war, you'd have to do me a much better deal than that. You know what? I may actually join this war. Because that is... I could... I'm... There's nothing gonna happen between me and him. And I can get some good stuff out of that. I can get a silver item if he still has it. Sima Yu declared war on Sima Yan. That's the other person I'm trading with around here. Can you guys stop fighting each other and messing up my trade, please? And he requested him to join the war. Jin Empire signed peace with Sima Jung. No, don't do that. I'm never gonna get my trade back with you. Damn it. Sima D signed a peace treaty with Xu Yan. Xu Yan signed a peace treaty with Shan Yu. And we faction development it up over here. Okay. Sounds good. Alright, so you're going to start coming back, replenishing on the way. We're going to miss out on our mustering bonus if I move right away, but. Uh, yeah, I'm still going to move. You're going to go into this city now. How about that? All right. Um, so let's have a look here. Let me have a look at that war that you want me to join. I can't. I can't offer to join a war. Damn it. Eight seem away in one of their wars. Why can't I do that? It must be a vassal state of this faction. Wait, what? What about our alliance? Um, I guess, well, never mind. You're gonna have to ask me again, I'm afraid. <laughs> I can't just... Actually, wait, can I do it like here? Uh, no. Well, fuck it then. Definitely a lot more deals I can be doing here. You're not at war with any one of my alliance, I don't think. I don't really care enough either to get peace with these random people across the map, basically. Uh, wait, that didn't repair itself. What the fuck? It's supposed to repair up to 150 per turn. Well, it should repair itself now, and then I guess I can upgrade it right away. Well, it's a bit annoying, but oh well. Also, I shouldn't have gotten rid of whatever building I had here, the irrigated farms. There was no need to do that, because of course I was going to upgrade the town first, plus that one. So I just lost the building for no reason, basically. 
But oh well, I want the military infrastructure here. And I guess we can upgrade. That's five turns, but only 1700 bucks. Interesting. This one for more money, please. Money is pretty minor, to be honest, but... We have now got the opportunity to recruit a little bit more in this army, so let's get as many of those as we can. There we go. It's not going to go very fast recruiting this army, but that's okay. I'm not worried about that. I'm really only keeping you around because I'm getting might from it. Other than that, it's pretty decent. I do wonder that noble support, if, that, if that's going to add up, that would actually be pretty difficult to handle. Minus five is pretty rough. So maybe I don't want to rush for might, to be honest. Plus 10% corruption. Oh, fucking hell. That's a pretty big one, too. I didn't even notice we get got this one yet. So we got uh, extra morale faction-wide. Next bonus is... Ooh, there's actually no actual bonus. Just only increased stuff of what we already get. I think that's the same here, though. Yeah. But yeah, plus 10% corruption. That's pretty big. I wonder what the uh, negative effects of what those ones are. I do kind of want to get the research rate, but... Anyway, what are we researching next? So we got... Uh... Right, yes, we got the upgrade to that building now. This one. So when we have the money, we should build that because that's adjacent uh, commanderies, and of course the commandery itself as well. Don't care about that. I think my character salary is not a big deal, but it still helps a little bit. I think the food production is pretty good though. We have a lot of food we can have, so I feel like that might be worth doing. Um, other than that, replenishment would be useful too. Honestly. But I'm not too concerned about it right now. It's it's definitely useful, but... It's definitely just a wee bit useful, Daesh. Let's go here. I want to get that one. Can we just actually... No, we can't do it Shogun 2 style. We just click that one. Unless maybe it does actually work. Maybe after that one finishes, it immediately goes over to that one. But probably not. Uh, what else we got? We just got some unhappiness. Wow. Okay, that's actually a place that's going to get fixed soon from the uh, stuff. So we're, we're okay. 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 Mm. One thing I just remembered. Their character was your faction. This woman. Uh, where are you again? Sima D? No. No thanks. <laughs> no, no, thank you, sir. No. No, that's very kind, but. Uh, <laughs> no. No, um. No, your wife's ugly. Your daughter is ugly. Whatever. Um, yeah, one thing I just thought about. When I'm going to attack this guy, I should actually keep an army over here. Because I don't know what they've got around here. Well, there you go. I do know what they've got around here. And it's a full stack. So we should run our second army that we're recruiting over here, I guess. Which means I'm going to miss out on even more mustering bonuses. The Spoils of War. A local magnate, the strength and manpower exhausted by years of war, has resorted to raiding the territory of another prince, stealing the manpower he needs. Naturally, the prince has complained and demanded his peasants be returned. You must adjud adjudicate, sir. Kind of tempted to go for the wealth one right now. Might. I don't want to piss people off. Actually, this seem alone, so it doesn't really matter that much, but... Um, let your subjects keep them. Last time I went for that one, but we don't want to upgrade either of these anymore. I think we're going to start working on one of the other ones. There's no mine to pick up here, unfortunately. Let's go for a wealth. Wealth, wealth, wealth. That may be four extra bucks per turn, by the way, just so you guys know. Pretty sweet. Alright. Um, let's see what we can do here. I kind of need to recruit as well, but... That one, please. Oh yeah, I need to upgrade that. But I don't know if I, can, I don't. I didn't have the money for that, regardless. So, having said that, I don't have the money for anything over here. My God. Okay, so this army is getting massive mustering bonuses right now. So I kind of don't want to ruin that. I also can't recruit anymore right now. Uh, would this guy? Nope, he's also not liked in here. Damn it. Nor is that guy. Could recruit my wife in here, but wasn't really planning on that. I really want to use him and this guy, so maybe I will just put him in there, to be honest. 52 years old. I mean, he doesn't like them, but at some point he's going to die and then we can replace him then. You know, we might as well make use of this incredibly good character, right, for the moment. Although, 
God, if we're gonna, if he dies, by the way, that's why our uh, advisor gone. That's some pretty, pretty big bonuses we'd lose right there. That's pretty unfortunate. What do you get again? I want to see what you get from commanding. I want to see what you get from being my fucking heir, you bitch. What if I marry him off to a different family? That way I don't have to get rid of him. Hmm. Also, that's something I haven't even looked at at all yet. Do we have any marriages I can do? Have you got a wife? Or a daughter, I mean. Have you got a daughter? No. You? Daughter? You? Daughter? You? Daughter? You? Daughter? You? Daughter? You? Daughter? Oh my god. Jin Empire, surely you're a massive fucking faction. What the fuck? You. 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 A lot of options now. Nope. Ah, uh, you. Nope. You. No. My God. My my son can marry, right? Is there just no women anywhere? Oh, here we go. This is the guy who offered to me earlier as well. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, okay. Well, at least we know he's still available. Man, what the fuck? There is no women whatsoever anywhere in the world, apparently. Oh. My god, that's actually impressive. I mean, I, I suppose they must all immediately get married off, basically. Wow, there's one woman available in the entire world right now. Well, the entire world of China. And that the, the part that I know. There's obviously quite a few that I don't know yet, but... That doesn't mind. That doesn't matter. There's just no one available, alright? Let's just leave it at that. Uh, I can upgrade the one that I want. You know what that I want? So let's get that. Wait, is it? No, that's not the one that I want at all. Never mind. Although I wonder, it is a lot cheaper to go this, down this route. And this one also, again, costs more upkeep. So that's another thing to consider, I suppose. I mean, the main reason I'm building this is the um, income from all sources. The other stuff is like, you know, it's a nice bonus, but who cares, really? Um, they both get all the 50% income from all sources. I don't care about military supplies for enemy armies. I don't care about supplies on my own territory either, really. The garrison remains exactly the same, so that doesn't matter at all. Um, they have different requirements in terms of, or in terms of, tech, but that's not really a big deal either. They give less noble support, but they cost less money over time. So you know what? I'm kind of tempted to just go for one of these ones. This one's the cheapest one to get. It doesn't give the. It's also the cheapest one in terms of upkeep. It doesn't give as many military supplies, uh, like enemy military supplies reduction, and it doesn't give the starting rank for cavalry recruits, but I don't give a fuck about that. So you know what? Fuck it. We're going to go for that route instead. Good to know. Did I upgrade any of the other ones to level 3 yet? I have no idea. Yes, I did actually, so I would have to convert this one over, but that's okay. It's alright. Don't worry about it. Um... Yeah, let's just put you in there as well, then. Let's merge them up, boys. Do you get bigger bonuses? Nope. Not, uh, no movement speed or anything. No movement range, so you're going to stay the commander for now. Commander? Commandment? What the fuck? You got to level up. When did that happen? Take that, friend. Friend? That minus 10 from recent events should go away soon. That will fix all of these characters and hopefully get rid of that as well. I do really need some happiness right about now. I really want to attack. I can do it literally right now, but the problem being that this is a thing. You know what? Why don't you run over here? So then while you're running, this army can build up and then we can attack here anyway. Way less movement with this army than we don't do without. Actually, no, it's because of him. Never mind. There is definitely less movement, but not that much less. Hey, it's Sima Wei. My friend! See my way. Welcome to my humble abode. He's actually not in my province or anything, but... Uh, oof, that's unfortunate. Especially because you could have easily taken these two towns from me, so I could have taken them off of you. But hey, also, he's taken that one. Shit, I didn't even realize that. So I'm now sharing this island with only the Jin Empire over here, Sima Jiang over here, and then... Oh, and then also the Jin Empire here. And then the rest is a Sima Lun. So yeah, there's only three other people besides me on this island now. Actually, it's not an island, on this landmass, like, the, between the river. It's an island, what the fuck? <laughs> My fun fucking idiots. By Jin faction destroyed. 
A clay pig? Oh, very rad. Bai Jin, that's the guy whose fa faction just got destroyed, isn't it? He's got a grudge against Song Wei because their faction was destroyed by him, supposedly. <laughs> and then the guy shows up, allegedly. <laughs> Alright, who is this guy? He's got some good gear. Cautious, disloyal, tough. Uh, not for me. Anyone who's disloyal, I kind of immediately think like, nah, I'm good. Hold on, is this the one that's the wrong level up? No, that's the right one actually. But I do have one that's level 3 that needs to get converted over, which I think I will do right away. Mostly because it's cheap and otherwise I'm going to forget about it. Forget about it. Sorry. I need to recruit units, so I think I'm going to do that first, because I've got quite a bit to recruit, honestly. Level up for Li Han. Nice. Nice. Uh, I do want replenishment. I could, I, yeah, I know what, I could make, I could do this and then make him the leader for a bit, but seems like a bit of a waste because we have a champion in here who's going to get those skills as well when he levels up. Although not for a while, but still. Yeah, let's fuck it. Let's just take this instead. Right, let's recruit some units, shall we? Oh, oh, oh we shall. I'll tell you what. You're going to get, uh, actually... You're not going to get the unique unit, because that's a raider unit. Or, sorry, no, it's a lance slash spear unit. Halbert unit, actually, specifically this one. But basically it's a red one, not yellow. And I am not colorblind, sir. I could actually just, when he gets here, which uh, I'm going to keep walking because I want to replenish. But yeah, we, I could just start attacking here. And then, you know, this army can just keep replenishing. And unless they recruit something here, we can still just take it later on. I'd like to do a two-pronged attack very quickly. But, you know, I also need to make sure I don't... I have enough men. Although they've probably, probably got a very small garrison there. It's just, I don't know how many other stuff... Other things they've got around here. He's not at war of anyone right now. Good to know. See, so yeah, I have lots of buildings to build. But I kind of decided not to build anything. It seems the event has gone away. My income has apparently gone up, although I can't really see because I built some stuff. But yeah, no one's uh, super unhappy anymore. The event's gone away. That's very good. Let's uh, keep trucking along. Maybe I should sell some food again. How much do I have that I can sell? Or how many people are there that I can sell food to? That's the better question. You're rich. But... Would you actually buy my food? Oh wow, exactly. No, that's just not. No, sorry, mate. Oh my, I'll do. Wait, hold on. Would you? No, you're sort of one point three. Never mind. See my eye. I'm already selling food. See my ying. It would piss see my way off probably, Meow. but it would piss see my way off. Fucking hell, you ask a lot for that food, don't you? My goodness, two point three. That's never gonna happen. Nope. See my yeah. He's low on food, so this might be a good one. Oh my god. Oh, and he's pretty rich too. That's not a bad starting position. I mean, I'm not going to give him all of this, but... Could probably get a decent amount. Eh, I mean, it's... Yeah. Still not anything fantastic. But do you have any ancillaries, actually? Actually, have you got any ancillaries? You do have a robe. How much do you value this robe? Ten? Are you serious right now, sir? Okay, even all my food wouldn't be enough. I'd have to add it, a money of my own to... Pay him. Hmm. Hmm. Or an ancillary. Oh, shitty ancillary, but that's kind of defeating the purpose. What if I add just a little bit of money? A hundred and... Uh, it's a hundred about. Wait, what? Wait, what the fuck? Yeah, a hundred bucks and five food. For a pretty shit... Uh, shit? No, not... Like, pretty... The shit, I guess. <laughs> Uh, item. Although, yeah, 10 is kind of a shame. Or I can get 300 and... was it? 335 or something. So, 3.5 grand almost uh, for my food. Or I can get an item that's possibly worth more because I can buy, like, regions from it later on. And it costs me a thousand bucks to do so. Or a shittier ancillary, but I don't really want to do that. Yeah, alright. I'll do this. I could give you one more food. Save me a little bit of money, but... 
Yeah, I guess I'll do one more food. Then I'm down to one, though. I'm gonna take some town soon. Um, no, let's just do 100 for one less food. That's a crazy number, though, being honest. How much would that be? That's one and a half fucking points. Hold on. No, there's no way. No, 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 no. No, no, no. <laughs> there's no fucking way. There's no way, sir. Okay, let's do that. Thanks for the ropes, sir. Good deal. Now. Here. Take these here ropes and put them on, you bitch. I'll slice you. Uh, okay. Let's move on. And turn? I think so. Possibly end the episode as well, depending on what happens. So, get your army out of my river, please. No, it's not my river technically, but can you please fuck off out of it anyway? Um, a wow, an alliance. Ooh, the people come first. Your advisors recommend you serve the people, and that is what you have chosen to do. Yet the other princes of Jin see this as neglect. They insist you spend more on courtly distractions to keep them entertained. Wow. Well, I do want to go for wealth, so I could pay a thousand bucks right now for some wealth and popular. Fifteen prestige that doesn't gonna isn't gonna help me now. Unpopular. I don't really want that, but I become a beloved lord. I don't need that, and I don't need the spirit alignment. So yeah, I guess I'll pay a thousand bucks to become popular. <laughs> That's how it works in the real world, doesn't it? God, I want to become pop. Oh, I did actually get that. Nice. I didn't even realize that was worth it. Oh, that gives an extra trade agreement. That's the next tier, and that's pretty sweet. Also, I like this uh, icon here. You, my good man, are not bad, but are not going to get hired by me, I'm afraid. I still have a mission to hire someone, though. That one's the one I switched over. Oh, and I forgot to do my assignments. Oopsie. Oopsie daisy. I'll do one more turn then real quick. Someone's fucking unhappy again. Can you stop? You, Luan. You fucking Luan. You're pretty good, but I don't really need you, so I don't need you to piss off my court here. Goodbye. I said good day. He is quite good, and I feel... It's a shame to see him go. But, uh, you know, sometimes you gotta make tough decisions with these bastards. Right, so you gotta get your cab now, which are, of course, stupidly expensive as well. I should actually just save up and get all six of them right away, because there's no point doing it any other way, really. It's tough to save up money. Right, what was I going to do? I was going to do the, um, yes, the assignments. What I should do is do some assignments to make me money then. If I'm not going to build any buildings for a little bit. Income from industry, or income from commerce, so it can spice. It spies, Mr. Spinehog. You're some kind of fucking retard. I also do minus corruption. But I don't have that much corruption, I don't think. Let's have a look at where I have the most industry income. I've got 500 there, so definitely one of them is worth there. Put Miss, Miss Tofu, uh, Tofu in here. And then I have some more mining stuff here. This one's definitely going to be worth it too, right? 500 as well. Perfect. Alright. So that should give me some more money. You're going to keep trucking along this way. I'm going to finish this unit replenishment off in two turns. And then I think we're going to go on the offensive immediately, basically. That works out perfectly. Uh, so yeah, I'm not going to build anything. As, as tempting as it is to build stuff, I'm not going to. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, I'm not doing it. No, you silly bastard. You, you almost got me there, but uh, no, I'm not doing it. Or am I? I do want to kind of build that, but no. No, <laughs> you almost got me again. But uh, no. No, I'm not doing it. I will, however. No, I've only got two food to trade. There's no point. Let's end this turn. And then we'll end the episode there, I think. So next time we're going to be attacking Simulun. The first of the eight princes will fall soon, hopefully. And by the time we've taken him out, we will either have to decide to go on to the Empire, which I don't know exactly what happens when we do this, but uh, gaining prestige becomes a regent. Diplomatic bonus of minor factions, diplomatic penalties of major factions. If you attempt to capture... Okay, so yeah, we... Okay. So I don't think when we take this, like, the entire Jin Empire becomes mine or something. I don't think it works that way, but I'm not sure. Ooh, brothers in arms. Noise. Noise. Um, I don't want you. Get out of here. Okay, that is going to be that for now, though. Next time, we're going to be attacking 
Sima Lun. We're going to finish off the first of the eight princes. Um, I wonder if I've gained any strength, by the way. I really wish there was a way to see your own strength, but he's nine, he's seven, eight. Yeah, I think I have gone up. Maybe I'm six now. Just recruiting a couple of units. Got me to rank six, I'm pretty sure. Nope, he sinks. Wait, hold on. That means I'm... That means I'm either higher or... That's two, four, six, one. Hold on, there's no... Did I miss out? Did I miss out? Oh, I can't speak. Did I miss out on two? Eight, three, four, two. Okay, so I'm five. Yeah, not bad. Rank five, I'll take that. Unless there's someone else. Nope, there's no yellow here. Unless there's an unknown faction somewhere out there is like doing really well over here in the corner or something, but no. I think I'm five. Not bad. Just recruiting a couple units, and we got more to recruit as well. In fact, I can recruit all of the cav now and then the extra two units as well, I think. Let me just check that theory. Yes, I can. Right, well, that's what we'll do next time then. And then I gotta save up the last of the money to get the two trebuchets. And then I'm gonna be good to attack this in a couple turns as well. So we're gonna go hard on Simulun. But for now, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day, and goodbye.